Now, hey everybody, I'm Daniel from the People System Store and we're here to bring safety to every home. And today I want to uncover such a topic as selecting a CCTV system for yourself among such many options on the market. Now, let's go. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. To start off, let's define what is this CCTV system and what it consists of. So yeah, the main component here is the camera like this, this, this and this. Because that is the thing that gives us an image. So the other parts are kind of turning around it. In most there is a two variations on the camera form. The dome type form and the cylindrical type. These dome cams are usually installed inside of building and again we have a one more branch in here. They could be plastic like this one or a metal body like this one. The metal ones are often applied to public places because there is a risk someone could harm it. While the cylindrical ones are almost 100% being produced in a metal cover like this and this. And they are being installed outside only. And they largely have an IP67 and IK10 advanced standards within them, meaning we don't worry what the weather outside because our camera is fully protected against it. That is the dust, water resistance and the impact protection. So the second system part is the video recorder. It receives a signal from cameras, processes it, records it and saves the video files inside of it on the internal storage. Accordingly, you'll need to get the CATA hard drive, HDD additionally, uh, yeah, like this. Reminding of our clients, there is no any uniform answer to which should you pick, as this depends on your tasks and on camera's resolution that affects a video size to be saved on the internal drive out here. But the interlayer among recorders is a 4-channel recorder like this one. Father, it's 4, 8, 16, 32, well, you get the idea. The third system part is a cables and wires. We've taken out this item separately in a third position on, on the list because this matters. Now I'm gonna tell you why. So in the CCTV area, we have mostly three cable types. Twisted pair internet cable like this, power cable and combined coaxial wire with two conductors. Where one is a signal and a second is a power. I would recommend to take this list item with all the responsibility because your cable selection directly affects the image quality. Uh, you will get in the end. I also want to say twisted pair cable uh, could be used like both in the IP systems and analog systems equally, such as a coaxial cable uh, used only with analog system. Fourth item on our list is a power adapter. I mean, within a current system, the 12 volts adapters is used and specifically in the CCTV area that refers to two types here. Now we have, uh, we have, we got a regular one and also there is one, the uninterrupted power adapter that kind of is a separate system with its own battery. The difference is only that if the electricity grid is down, the recording won't stop as long as your battery uh, in the uninterrupted power adapter lives. Now I want to define what's the goal and what's the task. I know two most popular popular requests in our store are a private house install or store or any little sales point. To have a constant general overview of your house territory, I would advise to get these metal cylindrical cameras as they have a wide view angle from 85 to 110 degree view angle. And the fixed focus length is 2.8 dash 3.6 millimeters and our favorite parameter is a camera resolution for this kind uh, of appliances two or three megapixels is more than enough it will be just perfect i mean that was a house type installation now the stores most of it the dome cameras are used here in compare they have the same 85 to 110 degree view angle built in, but they could also be a narrow type cameras for a greater detailing of the appliances like a cash box zone or other spots where you just need to see details. For this narrow type, the focus length is regularly starts at 6mm length and goes up to 16. What's important else, the resolution here. The entry level here, in my opinion, is 2 megapixels. I would recommend to take 3 MP as this golden middling. Depending on your goal, 
if you need to see faces or a car numbers in details, take 4, 5 or more megapixels. After the goals, we need to define the tracking area and this directly affects the recorder selection. You need 4 cameras, take 4 channel recorder, but if you have 6 tracking zones, this is an 8 channel recorder, because 2 channels will remain unfilled for the future updates that you will probably need, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. The next and a really important item is the CCTV system standard. What's meant here? The digital IP and the analog standards. IP system has a higher quality image, a lot more functions and it's very slightly more expensive than analog. Though the price parameter depends on a functions, quantity and the complexity. Welcome to the comment section. Write down all of your questions in the comments. I mean, we will personally answer each one of it related to the entire CCTV area. My name is Daniel. I'm from the People System Store, where you can get any surveillance and the CCTV equipment within a special offer if you just specify that you came from me and from our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Safety to use the People Systems.